Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 2. Today we have the final two league games of the regular season. We could go on today to win the league. We could also go on today to just manage the playoffs. So, Brackley and Southport are waiters. We need to win them both, really, ideally, if we want to have any chance of winning the league. And we need Blythe to either slip up or we score loads more goals than they possibly can do in today's episode. So hello, hope you're all doing well. It's an exciting episode today, a really exciting one. Hope you've had a good weekend looking forward to this episode. So we've got Brackley and Southport today. Since you were last here for the FA Trophy semi-final games, we've won all four of our games. Very fortunate to do so in some circumstances. The Hollis Solihull Mall games, for example, Mark Mason scores in the 92nd minute to win that four. We're incredibly lucky there to make sure we won that 3-2. But Spencer Keller and uh, Mark Mason with a brace getting the goals there after we went 2-1 two, uh, two down, actually, which is a bit frustrating. But it was a good game. We came back, we won it, got the three points. Again, lucky against South Shields as well. Really, South Shields had more chances to score. They probably should have done. But Scott Pollock, I think, got a header right in the 77th minute to make sure that we won that 1-0. So again, lucky once again. Again, another one, Kingsland Town, a team that perhaps should have beaten us out there. I think they're third or fourth in the league. Mark Mason scoring the goal there to make sure we won that 1-0. Those three games, really, they could have gone either way. And we probably should have picked up draws them rather than wins. We got very lucky, but that... I think is the sign of a champion when he can, you know, a team that can do that despite the backspin against the wall, sign of champions, I think. And then the last time I played Darlington, a much more convincing display, 4-1 win there, Turner, Mason and Griffiths with the goals for us. So, 12 points from 12, it puts us on 79 points in total, which is level with Blythe Spartans, but they've got four more goals than us, so they've got or four more, four better goal difference than us, I should say. So by virtue of goal difference, they are top of the league. So we're definitely going to be in the playoffs, definitely in the playoffs. Uh, potentially we could drop down to we could drop down to third actually because Telford could go ahead of us if we lose both our games today but we're going to be either first second or third which is really really good ideally I would love to see Blythe lose a game we win both of ours or they draw a game and win a game or something like that as long as they just drop a point and we don't drop any points we'll win the title if they win both their games 1-0 that's the extra two goal difference that'd be 35 we have to score seven goals in order to overtake them in goal difference. So we have to be scoring plenty today if we want to be doing that. Mark Mason, by the way, on 27 goals in the league. Connor Robinson got 29 in the league one season. He needs two more to eclipse or equal that, three more to eclipse it. And also needs three more to get to 40 total for the season, which I think is pretty mental. So I think we'll just jump straight into it then. We're playing Brackley today, obviously. Uh, they're in seventh, so a tough team. They were top of the table for a while, actually, but have dropped down. They're fighting for a playoff place at the moment, whereas we're fighting for the title with Blythe, who are away to FC United, which could be a very tough game for them. So fingers crossed Blythe lose, we win, and we'll be golden for the final game of the season. Right then, this is the team that we've used pretty much exclusively, I think, in the past four games or so. We're going to be using it again today. So, Jen Andrews stays in goal with his back line of Dale, Walkley, Sanderson and Cook. Turiak, Howell, Hall and Griffiths make up that midfield partnership with Mason and Turner starting up front as our joint strike partnership. I, I'm scared to use the 4-1-4-1 the four, one, four, one again. So, we are going to stick. We're not going to go to this. Even though this probably could get us more goals, this has just been getting the wins for us and results for us recently. And I know it's a cautious mentality. We will change that at some point in the game, but I'd like to at least, you know, give it a go. It's worked quite well. We may not be scoring, like, winning games 5-0, but at least we have been winning them. So that's kind of the positive. Right then, kickoff is upon us today. We're at home. The home crowd are going to be here cheering us on. Hopefully Blythe will go down, although we might go down in the dying, op or the moments of the game, rather, not the dying opening moments of the game. Nearly do go down as uh, Brackley put their shot wide of the mark. We need a big performance, boys. We need two big performances. All we can do is win our games. You know, it's out of our control, really. We've got to rely on Blythe losing games. And it's it probably won't happen because Blythe are a very, very good side. We beat them in the FA Trophy, actually, earlier on in the season. Uh, we did lose in the league as well. I think we might have beaten them once in the league. So overall, I think, well, in the league, it's won one, lost one, I think. I think that's what it was. We'll double check. They've just gone one up against FC United, as you can see up there, and also reflected in the table. So that's not good for us at all. It doesn't matter what they do, though. They can win the game if they want. We need to win ours, though, as well. Whatever we have to do, we have to match them and score more as well. So we need to get on it. They've gone 2 nil up as well now against FC United. So as I say, that's probably not going to be a win for FC United. Looks like Blythe are already on their way to three points today. We, by the way, are not, by looks of things. Nothing's happened so far in this first half. I mean, it's been a, a very, very cautious 
first half from as aggressive, far from pleased from what I've just seen out there. Uh, players look fired up by that. We'll also start the second half going on to attacking as well. Like we have to try and go for this now. We've not been particularly we've not been particularly convincing in most of our recent games. But we have got the wins, and I just feel like we're just getting a bit tired towards the end of the season now. And I'm worried if we go into the playoffs, we'll still be too tired for the playoffs and we won't win it. So I think we have to go through and try challenge Blythe for the title. Although Blythe don't look like they're going to be losing today. Are they still two 0 up in their game? They're still two 0 up. It's not what you want to see, really, is it? Still, nothing happening in this game. Do we actually go out to this? Let's try this, I think. This could be just something we have to do, maybe. Um, we, we don't really have the play. Well, we kind of have the players to do it. You can bring uh, Keller on. We've got Howell and Thingy. We've got McCabe on the bench, actually. You can come on for Turner, who can't really play on the wing. Agu can play on the wing, perhaps better than Griffiths can, maybe. Can, actually. So we'll put Griffith, Ag Agu on there. They're the three changes that we'll make heading into the final moments of this game. We'll go on to very attacking as well. We'll shout push forward out there as well. We have to try and grab a goal in this game now. Otherwise, if we don't win this, we have to rely on Blythe losing their next game and us winning it. Because if they draw, we have to win by seven, I think, as things stand right now. So that's not going to happen. We have to grab a goal. This is the first highlight of the game, I think, is I go puts it into Keller, who puts it in at the far post. The change in formation has worked and Blythe are down. What's happened here? They were too... FC United have brought it back to two all. This is huge. So as soon as we scored, Blythe have just gone down. Let's keep an eye on this. Blythe are back up now. They're winning 3-2. The excitement's gone out of it a little bit now. Come on, FC United, though. We're doing our bit. There's a four-goal difference between us now. This is... It's scary. So, okay. We go... <laughs> Brief excitement there. I thought FC United were going to do us a massive favour there, but they haven't unfortunately we go into the final game of the season on 82 points alongside Blythe and then <sighs> Blythe have to either draw or lose which is you know and we win and then we'll win the title if they win we have to win by five more goals basically so <sighs> I don't know if we've even scored five we scored we've scored five on a few occasions but we've not won by five so we're asking an awful lot of our players next game, basically. It's not even just score five, it's win by five. If Blythe win 3-0, we have to win 8-0. So it's... That's if they win their game. We can't, I can't remember who they've got. I think they might have a relatively easy game as well. Which concerns me, because I don't want to have to go to playoffs. So there we go. There's the table. Who are Blythe playing next, by the way? Let's just have a quick look at this. They're playing Chorley, who are in ninth. Now, Chorley... They could do as a massive favour. I hope they do. But if you look at this form from Blythe from when they played us on, they've lost two games. We've got Southport next game. who are in 16th. So theoretically, that should be a routine win on paper, theoretically. Of course, this is Football Manager. We've also got a player on trial with us, by the way, who's uh, valued at half a million pounds. Uh, does he want to join us? No, we haven't got the financial power apparently. But he's like, there's a few guys on loan. Uh, it came up with a news report a few a few weeks ago saying these are the top youth players that are leaving or being released from their clubs. So we just get them all on trial and see if they're any good or not. And they are fairly good. I mean, this guy's not actually that good. Only two and a half star current ability. But he's got potential of the league above us. But he's got he's Brazilian. So I'm kind of tempted to sign him just because he's Brazilian. We've all looked to try and sign some of these players. But of course, I'm 90% sure they won't join us. So I don't hold out hope for any of those guys joining because I think two of them have got Premier League potential, apparently. So I'm not quite sure why they've been let go of their clubs. But again, that could be our scouts just being rubbish. So that could be part of it. Hopefully, we'll have another really good summer of recruitment. I don't think we need to add too much, to be fair. Like, we've got to the final of the FA Trophy beating teams from a division above us relatively comfortably. So I feel like we just need to strengthen certain areas. Maybe a centre-back. Maybe, like, oh, I don't know, maybe someone up front to partner with Mason a little bit better. I don't know, something like that. I don't think we need to strengthen massively. Joe Howell, by the way, just signed a new contract. And because he is such a legend of the club, he um, he's taken a £135 per week pay cut, which is beautiful as well. All right, Mark Mason doesn't get player of the month for some reason. I mean, this guy's got three goals. Mark Mason's got five. What's going on there? At least I've won manager of the month, actually. That's actually only the second time I've won it. 
Um, I won it the very first month and this and this month in April as well, which is interesting. Never came in the top three either, I don't think, throughout the rest of it. Oh, I came second there that month. Other than that, I don't think I've done anything. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Manager of the month again. Now, we didn't play particularly well last game with the 4-4-2. And we did score a goal playing 4-1-4-1. And we need to score quite a few goals today just to make sure. We need, we could potentially have to score eight goals, for example. I think we go back to the 4-1-4-1. But then what we do is we take out our centre defence midfield in the cave and bring on Turner as another striker. So it's a 4-2-2-2 sort of thing. Oh, God. Team meeting, apparently. T team meeting. Uh, let's just check the morale of players first. Um, on selection info. What is the morale? Morale is really good. So let's not do a team meeting because I do not want to ruin it. Too many times before, too many times before, I've had team meetings where we could get promoted. And I've said, let's let's go and do it, lads. And they all just crumble because we're not expected to get promotion. They all go a bit mental. Morale drops. We lose the game. We don't get promoted. So let's not do that. Let's just not say anything. Let them do what they want to do. Right. Here we are then. Lincoln v Southport, Chorley v Blythe. We've got... <sighs> this is a tough one. I do not like this. Right then, so we are going to go to this formation, but we're going to bring our, our defence midfielder up, have two strikers instead. I think this is probably... It's got to be the best thing to do, I think. Has to be the best thing to do. Uh, pressing forward on support, please. Uh, we'll have to bring on wingers in. Douglas Hurst, who hasn't played a game for a little while... Could be risky, but we'll bring him on anyway. Uh, Keller's coming on for Turiak. Hall and Howe will swap over. That's going to be that. That is the lineup. Right then, kickoff is upon us. Kickoff is upon us. And we have to win today. And Southport nearly score a free kick. So that's good for my nerves. We have to win. Okay, we have to. We, we could draw. We could draw today if Blythe lose. But that is that is asking an awful lot, isn't it? An awful lot for Blythe to lose. Hopefully they just draw and we win. That would be nice. Hopefully this formation works. I have I feel like I've made a stupid mistake not going for the 4-4-2 that has worked consistently well most of this season to this formation. But how could be about to prove me wrong. Save Douglas Hurst offside, unfortunately. <sighs> Have me go in there. Come on. That's a good start, though. If we can be scoring goals, if we can get in those kind of positions to score goals, it's good. What we will do in a minute is get latest scores up on the on, on the pitch screen so we can see what's going on. Well, we'll have a quick look at updates. Blythe are losing. Blythe are, Blythe are losing. Chorley are winning. Blythe go down. We go up as things stand right now, drawing. Chorley, hold on. Hold on, Chorley, because this would be amazing. Please, please hold on. They've gone 2-0 up, up here. They've actually gone 2-0 up. Okay. Chorley 2, Blythe 0. As long as we don't lose this game now, as long as we don't lose, as things stand, we go up as automatic promotion winners, league winners. Howell gets tackled on the edge of the area. Southport, don't you dare score. They clear it up. Dale gets the ball. He puts it up to Turner. Turner, come on. Into Mason. Marky Mason gets his... 28th league goal of the season is 38th of the actual season, all goals included. We go one the up, and we're actually five points clear right now, technically speaking. Blythe are, ugh, Blythe are down. We're winning. It's good right now. We've got ugh, another second half to, to... Let's hold on. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves yet, Tom. Southport coming forward. Intercepted. Sanderson collects. Just hoof it upfield now. Cook on the ball. Into Howell. Howell coming forward into Douglas Hurst. Douglas Hurst, who's been overlooked recently, to be fair. He's a very, very good player. As I try and credit him, he gets tackled. And here comes Southport on the ball. Get it out wide to wait. He's got so much room and space. He's going to put the cross into the far post, I think. And he, well, he doesn't need to cross it. He just shoots himself. Southport bring it back. But Blythe is still losing. So we are still top of the table by a point. We do now have a throw in just before half time as Keller puts it in, cleared, but only as far as Howell, who puts it out to Cook, who can deliver a good ball, puts it into Mark Mason, hits the crossbar, cleared away. Southport with a chance to counter attack. Get it out to Johnson, don't you dare. They've got three men waiting in the middle. <sighs> They've been held up a little bit, but they're still coming forward. The highlight ends. We're going to half time at 1 1. <sighs> 
Blythe are still losing though. Blythe are still losing 2-0. So it's jeez. Okay. Okay. Calmly. Um keep going out there. We can still win it. Jed Andrews gains confidence. That's good. The goalkeeper's confident. I'm happy with that. 45 minutes. Come on, boys. So we'll just keep it on this screen for now. Because I'm, I just want to keep watching this scoreline, basically. Uh, every, every time someone scores, this all moves around. I'm going to panic every time I see it now. Uh, there is a highlight going on in the background as Turner collects the ball. Puts it in. Cleared only as far as Hall. Hall into Keller. Keller hits the post. I think it was actually offside, maybe, or something like that. That was for... <sighs> okay. Still going well, though. We're still doing things. Half an hour to go. Blythe still losing 2-0. We're still drawing. It's still okay. It's all still okay right now. Oh, this is... Chorley are my new favourite team, by the way. If we hold... if Chorley hold on to this 2-0 win against Blythe and Southport don't score, I can just imagine as well Southport scoring in the 90th minute. We have to grab another goal. We have to grab another goal just to make sure. We've got the chance to come forward now, although we just throw the ball away. Their strikers through. Don't they dare? No. <sighs> Jed Andrew with a huge save. Oh, I hate this. Just blow the whistle, ref. Can we just end the game at 75 minutes, please? As their corner comes in, Howell clears it. Howell, I just love him so much. He's such a good player. The ball comes back in, though. And it's we've we've scrambled it away for now. 10 minutes to go. Blythe just missed a penalty as well with 10 minutes to go. Chorley are now 3-0 up. Blythe are not winning their game. So all we have to do is hold... I mean, I say hold on. We're still playing very attacking. I'm leaving it as it is. That could be the worst decision I've ever made in my life. But only 19 people, by the way, have come to see us win the league, potentially. Like, I'm surely... Surely if this was a real-life situation, we'd have more people coming. It was 40 seconds left on the clock. Mason puts the cross in, clear, but only as far as... Keller. Don't do anything. Why are we going for more goals? We don't need to. I suppose the players don't know this. They won't know the Blythe score, so they think we have to win this, probably. And I'd probably, actually, as a manager, I'd try and encourage them to as well. If I was... Oh, no. Don't... I told you this was going to happen. Oh, huge from Cook there. Eight seconds left. Five seconds left. Blythe have lost their game. I can't see them come back from 3-0 down. Referee has blown his whistle. Blythe have lost... Have they? Blythe have lost. We've just won the league. Get in. We've. Oh my goodness. We couldn't win the game. But surely have come through. We've won the league. We've got automatic promotion. We don't have to go through playoffs. Really didn't think we were going to win the playoffs because we've slowed. I mean, we've won games in the season, but we've not won convincingly. We've not played well. Surely. Out of nowhere, they scraped. They were ninth, weren't they? They were ninth. They had to win to go into the playoffs. They've done that, so they're now in the playoffs, knocking Barrow and Brackley out. They've also knocked Blythe off the top. We drew, and we win the league. <sighs> Link United lift Vanarama North on the final day of the season. Th <sighs> Mark Mason with the goal. They score one as well, but it's it's Chorley, Chorley, the team that we have to be celebrating today. Everyone in the comment section. Just comment something like, thank you, Chorley. Maybe even tweet them. Tweet Chorley, like, at Chorley, thank you very much for letting us win. Because I think I might do that. So we've got the initial budgets for next season already, apparently. Um, I don't think this is going to be good because we are at least £150,000 in debt. So the board don't seem to want to clear it like the old board did. We have currently have £6,000 per week to spend on players. I know that. I checked not long ago. I think it's probably gone down. If I'm honest with you. Oh no, it's gone up to 7.25k 7, 7 per week. Which actually is, I mean, it's not, it's, ah, that's that's okay. That's okay. I was expecting it to go down, if I'm honest with you. I think because we got promoted, it's gone up. I think if we'd stayed in the same division, we'd, we'd be looking at a smaller budget probably. Lincoln fans are absolutely ecstatic as well. I mean, fair play, you would be, wouldn't you? We've been promoted to the actual Vanarama National League, which is mental. That's really good. One league away now from the football league which is pretty cool the board love me as they as they should do and um and cook dom cook praises me because i'm a lad basically next episode tomorrow we could do the double this season if we play well when we play newport county at wembley 
in the FA Trophy final, which is even more mental, I think, than us being promoted from this division. It's been a mental season. Hopefully, we end it off in the best way possible with a double. So, uh, what we're going to do tomorrow, we're going to do it as a premiere. So, uh, eight o'clock. It's going to be. It's like, it's like a premiere is like a live stream, but not a live stream. I'll record the video, but it will go out at eight o'clock, like a live stream sort of thing. So we can all watch it together. We can all have comments going at the same time, and hopefully, we'll all watch together as win the FA Trophy. So tomorrow at eight o'clock, eight p.m. GMT or UK time, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be doing this game. So come come join us tomorrow for this. Oh, we've been promoted. We could win a cup. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Lincoln Loco action, a cup final, and a trip to Wembley. See you then.